Raider Nation, what is the deal, man? Once again, it's your guy Panama Fargo, and I'm back to y'all live with another episode of the Raider Rundown. And today, man, we're going to be discussing a multitude of things. We're going to be discussing Jimmy G and how the Raiders now have an avenue to get out of his contract. We're going to be discussing Luke Getz's press conference and much, much more. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead. Let's get this intro started and let's get the show cracked. What is the deal? You're back for another episode of the Raider Rundown. Like I said, make sure you guys are tapping on the like and on the subscribe button. And please, hit on the little notification bell so you get updated whenever I drop episodes or give you updates like this right here. So like I said, we're going to be discussing the most two things, but we're going to start off with the most important news, and that comes in the form of Jimmy G. Right now, Jimmy G., has now been suspended by the NFL for violating its substance policy. He is now suspended for the first two games, okay? Why is this significant? This is significant now because with this suspension, this is, comes from Ian Rappaport. He reads, the Raiders have been in the market for a QB for 2024 with a potential move up in the draft and looking into the position in free agency. Moving on from Jimmy Garoppolo was always the plan, now they can do it without paying his guaranteed money. Now, because Jimmy Garoppolo is now suspended for the first two weeks of the season, he now violated something in the contract with the Raiders. Now the Raiders are now void of paying Jimmy Garoppolo that guaranteed money. So that is off the books. Boom. Complete. Right. If you watched my last video, plug in. Definitely go watch that. Right. About the Raiders master plan for the offseason. We start in step one. Check off the leg, check off the box, right? So we straight, right? Boom. Started with step one, and that was releasing Jimmy Garoppolo. So now it looks like the Raiders will be able to do that going into next year and not have to pay him his guaranteed money that comes off the books. Also, same in the quarterback room. Another thing that we anticipated already, but, right, we talk about Brian Hoyer expected to get released as well. So that's another domino to fall. So what, what I already said and what I expect for his QB room to be would be one rookie, one veteran, ain't no cop. That's what, the way it's going to look. Now, when I say veteran, I don't mean Russell Wilson. I don't mean Kirk Cousins, right? Because I feel like Russell Wilson is just not a fit here. I feel like Kirk Cousins asked for too much money. I feel like it's going to be a guy, maybe Jacoby Brissett, Gardner Minshew, you know, something like that of that mold. I have to look who else is on the market. I've heard Sam Darnold as well. As the veteran guy, I'll take it, right? The veteran guy, I know some people are pissed about the whole thing. He's not going to play, bro. He'll be QB3. So that's the whole thing, right? I, I'm talking about a veteran, veteran guy. Um, But Brian Hoyer, he's an upgrade over Brian Hoyer. I'll say that. It's QB3. If you want to rank it as the QB thing, right? Like, it's an upgrade to have Sam Darnold over Brian Hoyer, right? Because I firmly believe if Aiden doesn't win the QB1 spot, he's going to be QB2. Right. I firmly believe that. So who's going to be QB three? I think it's going to be Sam Darnold. So regardless of it, I mean, I, that's not saying I want Sam Darnold, but if they got him, it's not a terrible ass QB three option. Right. OK, so now going into it um, next on the list, we're going to talk about Lou Getze. OK, now that leads us into this. If you didn't go watch his press conference, go watch his press conference today. Basically introductory where all the media, everybody got to ask some questions. So hard questions. That were asked, right? And I'm going to read you some of the quotes that were said, you know, today, as far as from the people in the room, how they quoted them, you know how they do. Okay, so let me go ahead. Let me look at what I want to tell y'all. Once again, before I hit start, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, right? It's always a pleasure to give y'all this content, but make sure you help a brother out by going ahead and, and tapping on all them buttons for me, man. Make sure 
that, you know, I can feel the love, basically. But, right, from Vic Taker, Getty said, there are a lot of different flavors in this year's quarterback draft class. It's going to be a lot of fun diving into it. Said there is no style that best fits the Raiders offense going forward. We're not going to box ourselves in. So listen to that right there, right? Getty says, we are not going to box ourselves in. Already opening his mind to the fact that, hey, we might have a different court. We might have different skill sets coming in here, right? I'm going to mold our offense around whoever is the quarterback. And that's what you want to hear, okay? Another little tidbit from Vic Taper, right? Um, new Raiders offensive coordinator Lou Getze had never met Antonio Pierce. Wants to figure out what players do best and find cool and unique ways to take advantage of that, right? He and Pierce want people to feel the Raiders on film, not just see it. So, okay, the physicality portion of what we talk about and what AP consistently talks about shows itself, right? So, Getsy looks like he's going to be adaptable. If you really listen to the press conference, right, you listen to everything that he's saying, yes, you know, things he, he says he can work with a multitude of different things, but at the same time, right, he's worked with, with quarterbacks, but I think he's adaptable to whatever quarterback that he gets, right? You look at Justin Fields, you look at Aaron Rodgers, and it looks like here he's going to do the same thing. Whatever direction the Raiders go, he's going to play into the strengths of that guy. But that's exactly what we want as Raider fans, right? We're looking for a guy who plays into the strengths of the players, right? Now, don't just make the players fit into the scheme. Make the scheme fit to the player, right? So that's exactly what we are looking for as Raider fans. So as we continue, right, I want to read one more little tidbit for y'all, and that's about the quarterback position, right? And I want to find who said this, all right? Now, this is Levi Edwards, okay? Levi Edwards says this. Biggest takeaway from Lou Getz's press conference is he's willing to coach to the strength of his QB. He acknowledged working with quarterbacks of different skill sets, Aaron Rodgers, Jordan Love, Justin Fields, figuring out how to maximize their talents, okay? You hear all that about the quarterbacks that he's worked with? That's a very, very good list right now. He doesn't get credit for all of the development, right? But he does get credit for some. And at the end of the day, I think that, you know, he's going to come in here and he's going to be real adaptable. I think it's going to be one of those situations where he might surprise us, right? He might surprise us hearing him talk, knowing AP is really behind the driving force of what we're going to do as a team, physicality-wise. I think he might be one of those sneaky good ones, man. He might turn himself around over here. Who knows? So let's go ahead. Let's hope for the best. Make sure you guys are tapping. On the like, on the subscribe button. I know I've said it before, but you go ahead and help me out, man. We're creeping up on 600 videos made, right? Like, I, I that's crazy. Um, my dog Chris, shout out to him for protecting shield. Let me know about that. So I had no idea about that. But hey, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead uh, and keep making this content. We're gonna get to that goal, and at the same time, man, it's much appreciated to y'all for helping me grow as much as I am, right? And we're gonna grow more bullshit gonna come our way, but they didn't go stop the climb. Y'all already know what time it is. So once again, make sure y'all hitting all the buttons, and y'all know I keep it authentic from the clouds to the ground. On the radio run there. I need a bad bitch with an accent. Serving in peace, still taxing. Just got tapped for the young cash app. Moonwalking like a young Mike Jackson. Oh, uh, yeah, shots to the head. Ride clean and still fuck feds. Realest nigga in this on my kids. So who the fuck gonna wanna test me, bitch?